What's going on welder family? Welcome back. Today's lesson, we're doing some overhead 4F TIG welding. I know I'm ready to burn, are you? Let's get to it. All right, welder family, have it tagged up in the 4F position. These are some 3 8 plates. Make sure to grind your mill scale really, really clean, especially for Hilliard. All right, for TIG, um, this plate and this plate as well, grind it real, real clean. Make sure to tack both ends, don't tack it in the middle. You can tack it in the middle, because as soon as you get to it, you can like wash it in and then go across, but keep this in mind and keep it clean at all times. That's number one. Number two, make sure you have a sharp tungsten, all right? We're using a 2% lanthanated tungsten. That's the blue kind. Um, make sure it's sharp at all times. If you have a dull tungsten, then that puddle is not going to form the way you want it to, okay? Um, you can't control it or you can't manipulate it the way you want to, all right? It's going to get nothing but trash. And uh, we're using a number 10 cup. It can be a number 8 cup as well. But what we're essentially doing is throwing a root pass and a hot pass. This is a basic TIG tutorial for the overhead position. And what I'm going to show you right now is different variations on how to wiggle that cup. So you can hold it like this, you know, hold it on the handle or hold it on the TIG torch itself. This is a flex head 17 FV um, high density one. So you're here, you can hold it like this, have your filler wire. We're using a 1A 70S6, ER 70S6 filler wire. Have it right in the middle and just wiggle it across, little by little, wiggle. Wiggle across, wiggle across, all the way, right? Little wiggles all the way through. You can hold it like this, like a pencil as well, and just wiggle it like this, right? Make sure to keep your wrists relaxed, your hands relaxed. Keep that filler wire in the middle of the puddle at all times. All right, all the way through. If you're gonna do the hot pass, you can just come in here and wait. We're running at 150 amps for the uh, root pass, and we're gonna run like around 185 amps on the hot pass. Now, like I said, I did it this way, I did it this way, and you could do it this way, right? Kind of wrap it around, come right here, come like this right there, and just all the way through, kind of just wiggling it all the way. So, I'm giving you different three variations on what and on how to um, manipulate that tick torch on wiggling it okay it's not just one specific way you can do it here here or here whatever you're comfortable with all right but this is all we're doing is just a root and hot pass basic tutorial we're going to be simple and sweet and uh let's get to it all right well to family i'm running at around 35 cfh on the bottles 100 percent argon i'm going to strike my argon i'm going to freehand the first half because my cup can't you know essentially fit it there so I'm just gonna freehand it and um, once I get to a certain spot where my cup can fit inside that groove then I'm gonna wiggle it all the way okay but we're just gonna go up and down running at 150 amps here we go it's going up and down real quick you could freehand the whole thing but I'm just going to a certain spot you want to get using used to freehanding and wiggling the cup all right this is not walking it's wiggling i'm going to stop right here all right i'm readjusting right now striking my arc warming it up real good and then keep going so i'm just you know, hitting both walls keep that rod right in the middle of the puddle make sure you have a sharp tungsten don't get too close with the tungsten make sure you're about to Maybe about a sixteenth away from the puddle. Maybe less. You just want to keep it right in the middle. That is your guy where your rod's at. Making sure that puddle hitting both walls. Keep your wrist light and relaxed because when the overhead position, your arm gets real tired real fast. Keep it nice and relaxed, nice and relaxed. We're gonna pop off right here. All right, well, to family, that's the root pass right there. That's where I stopped that, as you can see. Then I restarted wiggling it all the way through. You can see the wiggling cup marks right there. So now I'm gonna run the hot pass. After that, that's it, all right? Then you can just start stacking it little by little like a, like a pyramid. But I'm just showing you the basics of uh, this tutorial, all right? All right, well, two family, so I just hit the root. Now I'm gonna run the hot pass and that's it. Gonna freehand the same way. Here we go. Running at 180 amps. Keep that rod on the top side of the puddle. 
Make sure you're burning that rod at all times. Once I get a certain position, certain spot, I'll go ahead and stop and readjust. Stop right here. All right, here we go. So I stopped here, gonna go ahead and keep going. Here we go. Just start right there. You wanna run hot, all right? You don't wanna run too cold because then, you know, you don't wanna get any cold lap or anything like that. If you're waiting on the top side too long in order for that puddle to form on that wall, then you're running way too cold. It should be quick. It should be real quick. You know, I'm doing kind of like butterfly effect weaves here. Usually I do tight weaves, but I'm just giving you a different taste. All the way, keep that rod on top at all times, okay? Put a little pressure on the rod, not too much, and keep that wrist light. And you got yourself a 4F position. All right, well, two family, there you have it. As you can see, uh, the very right side where I freehanded at, right there, as you can see there, uh, I made it nice and tight so y'all can see how it is when you're uh, freehanding it or wiggling the cup nice and tight. Now here, the rest of the way, I did like a butterfly effect, kind of weave, just giving you a different taste of uh, what you can do. But hopefully this helps you out, especially when you're running overhead with TIG, definitely wiggling the cup and your arm gets real tired. Just make sure you're nice and relaxed on your arm and your wrist is relaxed and make sure you have that rod in the upper side of the, uh, the puddle and you'll be fine, guys. All right, make sure you run hot too. Alrighty, well, two family, there you have it. Overhead TIG walling on the forehead position, T joints, all right? Hope y'all learned something in this, and if you did, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel down low. And you can follow us on all the social media, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook, all at WellTube. I appreciate all y'all support, guys. We're getting close to that 100,000 subscriber mark. 5,000 more subscribers left, guys, and that's it. Get us there, all right? God bless, guys. Remember, burn, learn, and eventually y'all gonna earn. Peace.